Welcome one and all to the 2023 CFC Fantasy Draft Lottery. The Canadian Football Countdown Fantasy Draft kicks off in just two days uh, on Wednesday, May 31st. We've got a group of four managers here ready, looking to, you know, set themselves up for a successful season in the CFL fantasy realm. I am your commissioner, Ryan Coop. We've got Trey Colbeck, Michael Garrell, Adam Stewart here again as well. Uh, and we're going to go through our draft lottery here. Uh, we've got a weighted uh, weighted wheel based on last year's finishes. So let's introduce each team manager here this evening. First, he finished in fourth place. Had a strong start to the season, but I don't know. Maybe he was tanking for that first overall pick. Uh, Adam Stewart, you are here. Uh, you have the best odds at the first overall pick, or first choice of pick, really, because uh, if you don't want first overall, you could choose fourth overall uh, if you would like. A 43.5% chance at getting the first selection of pick here. Uh, how do you feel about last season? How are you feeling about your odds here tonight, Adam? Well, first things first, I just want to confirm that there is no such thing as tanking in the CFC uh, uh, draft. You just cannot do such a thing. It's just, it's it's uh, so unacceptable for job fans and players and everybody to say that I tanked uh, the last two weeks by picking up players that were still injured and trying to play them. That, that doesn't mean I tanked by any way, shape, or form. But uh, that being said, I'm looking forward to the draft here tonight. Of course, this means all in the world to me. I mean, we could draft up. Uh, a high elite talent right away, pick up a guy that really will help our uh, odds. And, uh, oh, wait, no, we can't get Connor Bedard. Um, well, we'll figure out something with it. But, hey, these still great to have the first pick in the draft this year. And who knows? Maybe before Wednesday we make a trade or two out in this. We'll see what happens. There is always the possibility for that. Adam, good luck to you tonight in the draft lottery. We turn it over to the man whose team finished in third place last season. A slow start to the year. Forgot to set his lineup a couple weeks here and there, but he came on strong at the end of the season uh, and, and a solid finish down the stretch. Trey, you get the, the second greatest odds here, 30.4%. How are you feeling about your end to last season and the, the draft lottery here tonight? You know, last it's in the past, man. Last season's in the past. We just got a bright future ahead and Rudy, Rudy, and every other football cliche. Very nice. And Adam, 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 we'll, we'll, I'll DM you later. I got some trades, maybe. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. All right. My phone's we'll always on, Trey. My phone's we'll always see. on. We'll see. We'll see. I'll talk to Adam first and then Mike, and then we'll see. Sorry, Ryan. I don't trade with the commissioner. It's a rule. Oh, that's and, fair. And, also, and also, we got to see where the draft goes, too. You know, that's true. That's true. But I got some ideas. And uh, next up, uh, finishing a solid second place, uh, returning from his winter hibernation. Was he sleeping all winter? Was he busy all winter? Has he been solely preparing for this draft for nonstop for the past five months? Nobody really knows, but he is back. Uh, Michael Garrell, Mike, you have 17.4% chance at getting first selection of pick. How you feel about last season and uh, the draft lottery here? Yeah, you know what? My team came on a little too late last year. Um, but uh, happy with the second half. Happy with making a run at it and uh, corrected a few things. And we'll see if the draft falls my in my favor here. All right. Good luck to you, Mike, as well. Good luck, Trey. I don't. I think I forgot to say that before. Uh, but of course, good luck. You know, I, I didn't say from it because you didn't want to make a trade already. with me. I, I didn't it. say it because you didn't want to make a trade with me. I left Be the sour because I want to screw with you so bad. Yeah, <laughs> and in a draft where this is going to be three against one, because uh, let's let's cut to the chase. I absolutely destroyed you all last season. It wasn't even close. This was a championship caliber roster. Y'all can have fun rebuilding in the draft this year. I'm gonna just keep uh, putting up championships and win the trophies. So. Uh, you know, I, I'm not sure. Is, uh, is Nathan Rourke still in the league? I can't remember. Oh, yeah. You know, he was injured for half of last season, and I still beat you handily. So, you better watch what you say. I know where you sit on Friday, Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> I got my work cut out for me in the draft. I know these three are going to gang up on me. I don't, I probably won't get much of a say in my pick. 
8.7% chance, but, you know, great year last year. I really don't care where I pick, to be honest. Uh, I, I've done my prep work. I, I've spent plenty of time in the war room, uh, and I'm set for whatever pick I got in the draft. It'll be a 12-round, I believe, fantasy draft on Wednesday night, plus one keeper uh, for each of us from last season. We'll announce who we're keeping uh, Wednesday night at the start of the draft. But unless anybody's got anything else, without further ado, let's start figuring out who's got which pick coming in to Wednesday night. We'll pull up the magical wheel, thanks to non-sponsor wheelofnames.com, but a good, good wheel site nonetheless. Are we ready to spin, boys? Do it. All right. For first selection of pick uh, in the 2023 CFC Fantasy Draft, let's spin the wheel. Who is it going to be? It is, let's uh, go! It is Team let's Trey. Go. Second best odds at the first selection of pick. Trey, which pick would you like in the draft? One, two, three, I, or four. I, I think for back to back years, I'm going to have to take the first overall pick, boys. Did I not pick first last year? You did pick first last season. Yes. I believe Zach Caleros picked first yes. overall last year. Uh, are you going to give us any insights here into what you're looking to do with that first overall pick, or we got to wait for Wednesday? Got to wait for Wednesday. You know, this keeper is not announcing until minutes before the draft, right? Kind of, but I got some ideas. We're good. We're good, boys. All right, congratulations, Team Trey is locked in the first overall pick in the draft this year. Uh, let's see who uh, gets next best choice here. Uh, first of all, let's go to you, Adam. Adam, how are you feeling? You had the best odds. You didn't get the first selection of pick. Disappointing. Has to be, right? Sorry. Yeah, definitely my fan base is disappointed and I I know that our draft party may not be quite the same because they don't have the first overall pick. However, we will do what we have to do and possibly maybe work on some compensation and see if we can maybe get that first overall pick maybe out of Team uh, Trey. Well, Team Trey already celebrating in the war room with some dinner uh, post-draft lottery. Looks like, looks like a delicious dinner there. All right, let's see who is next up in the lottery and spin that wheel. Adam's got a big chunk of the wheel here uh, with the best odds, and it looks like Team Adam it does have the next choice here. Uh, Adam, what are you going to do with your selection here? Picks two, three, or four? I think that I've talked to our uh, general, uh, our, to our head coach and to our uh, scouting team, and I believe they're comfortable with the second overall pick in the 2023 CFC draft. All right, so pick number one goes to Team Trey. Pick number two goes to Team Adam which means it comes down to just me and Mike here for uh, next selection. Uh, Mike's got a big chunk of the wheel. Me, not so much. That's fine. Mike, you ready to spin that wheel? Let's do it. <laughs> All right. Well, hurry hard. Hurry hard. No. <laughs> and it looks like Team Mike does indeed get next sol pick selection. Would you like the third overall or the fourth overall pick? Mike I'm going to take the fourth overall pick. Fourth overall pick for Mike. That locks me in for number three. Uh, everybody else kind of went in the order from first to last. What made you want to jump three and go to four, Mike? Uh, just the bat-to-bat -bat pitch. I feel there's some options at four. Um, full disclosure, we wouldn't have taken the first two pits uh, in the draft given our opportunity. Uh, prefer to work lower down. Well said, well said. Uh, well, it's a formality, but uh, I want to spin the wheel and see my name pulled here. Uh, who's it going to be? Who's it going to be? It is Team Ryan, and uh, I think I'll take the third overall pick. Uh, I, I wish I could take fifth, but uh, no, I guess I'll I guess I'll have to lock it in for number three. Uh, Team Ryan is very happy with this in the war room. Uh, like Mike, I also didn't want one or two. Didn't particularly want three. I was hoping you would give me fourth because that's what I had last year and it went pretty well. But I will take pick number three. So Trey is up first on the clock Wednesday night. Adam is second. I am third. Mike is fourth. Uh, spin the logo in the middle one more time. Why don't we just for kicks? 
And uh, yeah, CFC Fantasy Draft Special, Wednesday, May 31st, 2023, 9.30 p.m. Winnipeg time, 8.30 p.m. Saskatchewan, 10.30 Eastern, adjust your other time zones accordingly. Uh, be there as we draft our teams for this season. Look to claim the CFC Fantasy Draft glory. Stay tuned. <laughs>